That's why I had a fight. I had a fight with a Italian. Those are the worst white people fight because they don't know it, especially around Rocky time. Because I was in a discotheque talking to, um, I was in a disco talking to Danny Terrio from Dance Fever. Don't ask me why. <laughs> but I was, we in there kicking it, and this Italian dude is standing there with his girlfriend, and his girlfriend is looking at me or Danny. And the Italian guy was, man, Italians don't play that shit. You hear the kind of shit they say to their girlfriend. What the fuck you looking over there for, huh? Don't tell me that you're not looking. I just fucking look. I just saw you looking over there, right? Wait, you've been looking over there all fucking night, all right? You look over there again, I'm gonna pick up a glass and shove it in your fucking mouth, all right? You don't look over there. No, you shut up. You're making me look like I'm an asshole over here. No, you should. Don't you ever disrespect me. Don't you ever. Hey, shut up. Don't you ever dis. I'll fucking kick your ass inside here. What are you looking at? Fucking dancing and mooling your ass. Where's your mooly? You know, kick his mooly ass. Push me. Now, black people from New York have this trick we use on white people. It works. Even if you can't fight, you have to act like you can fight, because that gets you out of a lot of fights. It works. If you have some problem tomorrow, walk up to a white dude tomorrow, step on his foot. And he says, hey, you got a problem? You go, yeah, motherfucker, I got a problem. I just lost my motherfucking job to a white man look just like you. So I say, I'm going to step on some feet till I feel I redeem myself. You got a problem? The white guys go, hey, uh, I didn't know about your job. And they leave and brother be standing like this. Ooh, that was close. <laughs> I almost got fucked up. So I know you got to act like you can fight. First thing you do is you make your voice go up an octave and act real confused. And mom say, hey, what the fuck? This motherfucker trying to this motherfucker. To... Yo, mother, no, you don't put your motherfucking hand. No, mother, get the fuck out of your motherfucking bitch. I'll bust your motherfucking hand. But you never put your motherfucking hand. Well, shut the fuck up, man. Man, you, what the fuck is wrong with you, man? You know I'll bust your... You want some? You want some, motherfucker? You want some? Then make a move, then. Make a move. Yeah, you better walk away, mother. I'll bust your pussy ass, too. You'll never put your motherfucking hands on me. What the fuck is your problem? What's your problem, huh? You got a problem? Well, I'ma settle your problem. I'ma settle your problem. I'ma settle your problem, motherfucker. And the dude did like this. Come on. I was stuck. I was standing like this now. You said, come on, that's the way I like it. I ain't know what to do. Because I could act like I could fight good. You know, I'm an actor. I ain't no fighter. You put me in the movie where I'm the star, I kick your ass. <laughs> this is real shit. He's standing like, come on. I was frozen, man. I was standing there. My ego jumped out my body and said, punch me in the face, Ed. I said, I ain't punching nobody. My ego said, well, give me a hand. <laughs> Clocked that boy in his eye. Boy fell on the deck holding his eye. He was all fucked up. I looked at my ego. I said, What the fuck you do that for? <laughs> ego said, Because you got an image up. Oh, look, you kicked the dude's ass, man. Calm down, relax. And I looked, the dude was laying there holding his eye. My ego said, Now talk some shit now so people know not to mess with you. And I was like, Yeah. <laughs> I'm tired of people messing with me. And tell me, if somebody else move, you're going to kick their ass. If somebody else move, I'm going to kick their ass. Do some kind of rhyme with your name. That always scare white people. Rhyme your name. Because I'm Ed, and if you mess with Ed, you be dead. <laughs> well, that's all right. Just, man, just worry about shit. You're doing fine. You just, don't relax. Don't worry about nothing. Just be cool. Ain't nobody going to move now after they seen you kick this dude's ass. Just relax and cool out. And I start cooling out. My ego said, you ain't got to worry about nothing. Every now and then you got to whip somebody's ass and let them know where you stand. I said, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I ain't see this dude's brother standing behind me. And <laughs> yeah, he had seen Rocky too. And he swung around my back and punched me in the mouth real, real hard. Because the punch said, Poof. and my ego said, what was that? I said, I don't know. And my lips said, hey, fellas. I'm standing there with my lips hanging down, looking like JJ from Good Times and shit. And I ain't know what to do, so I had to scream for security. I said, security! And that's one of my boys jumped over the table, like Link Hayes from the Mod Squad. 
and grabbed that boy, so I go pop, 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 boom. Boy hit the deck, my boy jumped on top, started fucking his boy up. He was kicking the dude's ass, and his brother woke up, jumped on top of my boy, started kicking my boy's ass. Then the brother, somebody said, it's a fight in the back, fight in the back. And all the people, the bouncers came in the back of the club, it was a white club, they saw two niggas fighting two white guys. First thing they did was jump on the niggas, like, you niggas have to learn to stop fucking up our club. Then we let you in here, nigger. Then we, we saw you laughing while we were dancing. We saw you, you black son. And, saw, and then all the brothers saw like 40 white guys beating up two black guys. Hey, you can't beat up the brothers. And they jump in the fight. Then it would look like 40 white guys fighting 40 black guys with a big race war and suntan lotion and Jerry Curl juices shooting all over the place. And at the end of the fight, everybody sued me. Everybody claimed I whipped their ass. I'm 5'10", weigh 165 pounds. I can't whip a disco's ass by myself. Even people that didn't fight sued me. People sitting around and watched the fight was in court. Uh, no, I didn't actually fight, but I was there watching, and it was a discotheque, and a strobe light fell off the ceiling, creating a weird effect with the mirror. And uh, I saw this, and my eyes were sprained, the eyes, and I need 12 million for my sprained eyes. Brothers sued me. Yo, man, the brothers came out and sued. I was like, ain't no brothers gonna sue me. Brothers sued Ed. The brothers went to get paid. I was like, brothers gonna sue me. Brother. Brother was like, fuck that. I'm getting paid, motherfucker. <laughs> and brothers went to court and got educated on the judge. All of a sudden, they was like, you know, can you state your case? Oh, yes, Your Honor, on the evening in question, per se, Your Honor. Yo, check it out, Yana. I was inside the disco, right? Cooling, right? I went in with my girlie, right? My girl started ill. He said, oh, there go Eddie Murphy. Start acting all tipsy and shit. I said, where, where? He said, over there. I said, fuck that big nose motherfucker. I make my money just like him, right, Yana? Because I don't give a fuck. I ain't getting on nobody job, you know? So, Yana, check it out, right? What happened? What happened then, right? I said, yo, what you want me to go over and get the motherfucker autograph? I got the autograph for my girlie. I walked over and said, yo, Ed, sign this autograph. The ass, I ain't saying a motherfucking thing. Fuck you and your ugly bitch. I said, yo, and I'll bust your ass for saying shit like that. He said, me, wait, motherfucker, I can't. And he ran over to my woman and slapped her in the face, Yana. Then he slapped me and my man in the face, all three of us, like the three stooges, Yana. Twelve million. Twelve. I was disgusted. Yeah, Yana, give us half his shit. <laughs> I was mad. I called my mother up. You know how you do when you get depressed. You call your mother, you get your ass whipped. First thing you do is call home. I call my mother's house because you want to hear your mother say, it's going to be all right, baby. It's going to be okay. You just take it. It's going to be fine. You just come on home. Shh, come, shh, stop crying. Come on. I'll cook you something to eat. I'll, come, and I'll cook you one of them big old hamburgers I used to make before. You just come on home. And you want that big burger when you get a little older. I called my mother's house. It was a Friday night. The phone rang for a half hour. Which meant my pops was home, and on the weekends, my pops gets drunk. I was praying he wouldn't answer the telephone, because I'm standing there bleeding. My lips are swollen. People walking by going, hey, Jimmy Walker. I'm going, no, I'm here. I just had a fight. I just had... So I'm standing there. I'm praying my father wouldn't answer the phone, and I picture this going on while I'm standing there. My pops home like this, drunk. This is my house. This is my house. And I don't give a fuck. You know something? Hey, I'm drunk, Lil. Lil, I'm drunk. And you know something? It's beautiful. It's beautiful, Lil. And my heart and my soul, I'm drunk. You know something? Fuck it. You tell me want to drink something in my house? Fine. You don't like it? Get the fuck out of my house. I pay the bills this motherfucker. I want to drink something, I drink something. Hey, Lil, you gonna answer this telephone? Do you hear the phone ringing? Lil! That's the phone, motherfucker. That's not me. No, I'm not answering shit. I pay the bills. I'm answering the phone, too? Who am I, Alexander Graham Bell up in this motherfucker? You better answer this telephone. Lil, answer the phone. God damn it. Shit, I'm watching a fight, Lil. Are you going to answer? You're not going to answer it? Okay, fine. Don't touch the phone no more, Lil. Okay? Since you can't get up off your ass and answer the phone, bye-bye. You can't touch the phone. Bye-bye phone for the end. No more phone for you. Your phone writes off. Uh, your phone privileges are cut off. In fact, I'm going to write that down and put it on the refrigerator. That's the new rules. That's the new rules in the house. I'm going to take the old rules off and put new rules up because you're going to listen to me, goddamn. I'm going to tell you to do something. You're going to put new rules up. You're going to put rules up. There's rules up. Rules. Rules. One. Lillian cannot use the phone. Two. Lillian cannot... Since you're such a smart motherfucker, you can't go outside anymore either. Cannot go outside ever again. <laughs> now put the rules up, Lillian, and you abide by my rules and my regulations, goddammit. There's a rule say no phone and no outside. I don't give a fuck at the motherfucking house is burning down. 
If I come home and a fireman put in the house out, I say, how you find out the house is burning? We got a call from your wife. I kick your motherfucking ass. <laughs>